On August 18th, 2009, Hannah and I continued our investigation into Acorn, this time in San Diego, California. We met a man named Juan Carlos, who told us his office specifically worked on immigration concerns. This was of special significance to us, since we intended to traffic the underage prostitutes in from El Salvador, but needed a way to sneak them across the Mexican border. Juan Carlos told us he was a lawyer who went to school in Mexico. I'm a lawyer. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a lawyer. Where did you go to school? In Mexico. Question. Would Acorn employee Juan Carlos consult his contacts in Mexico to find a way to help us smuggle the underage girls into the United States from Tijuana? What things do you need from me in terms of like the shipment information? Like, what can I help you? What information would you further need? Would help you in, in advice you would give me? The location. The location? Yeah. Where whereabouts? Like, what type? Like, city, state? What What do you need? Uh, the, the location. They They gonna take uh, the girls. Is it better if it's Tijuana? Is it better if it's um, somewhere inland? Where Where is the best place? Um, I'm not quite. He's like all these answers he wants right away. It's better it's in Tijuana. Tijuana? Yeah. Why? Because I have a lot of contact with Tijuana. Okay, and they might be able to assist crossing the border. Yeah. Okay, there's like twelve of them. Is that okay? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve girls. There's but twelve they're girls, they're but they're like there's like thirteen to fifteen years old. Okay. Yeah. Give me the drums. <laughs> She was ridiculous, I mean picturesque, yeah She was more than looking beautiful See she was in the know with the physical Oh, now it's enough she was a work of Do you guys do a lot with immigration here? Yes Yeah? That we have some questions about that too if it's possible to ask It's something I don't know if you can assist with That's why I wanted to come in and talk with you personally yeah. Um, it, it involves some, some girls coming over yeah. overseas. Okay. Maybe you can from El Salvador. From El Salvador. Okay. Um, my my girlfriend here is uh, you know, she's a prostitute. Oh. She's in a unique line of business. She's in prostitution, and um, we're bringing in some some underage girls in from. Can yeah. I pull up a chair? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, can you? This is confidential, right? Yeah. Thank you. I was kind of wondering, like, what you guys would be able to do and, like, any advice, like, bringing them in from overseas. Like, I don't even know, like, the transportation, how they're going to get here. It's just they're coming in this weekend from the ocean. So. So, so when, when these uh, people came, they put it in the... Like, in a container or in the bottom of a boat or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So these people, these uh, people came for... for Salvador? El Salvador, yeah. It's it's twelve girls. Okay. Hopefully they all make it here alive. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have a house with about a dozen or so yeah. underage prostitutes. We don't want people in the community to give us any problems about this. Yeah. You know, um, we don't want we don't want people finding out, harassing us. We don't want the cops coming. You know, things like that. You know, I don't know if that's a housing issue. Or if that's something that, like, just an immigration issue. But at, as a Latino man, do you have any recommendations in terms of the, the El Salvadorian girls. girls coming over and, and, and making sure they don't get caught, like, by people in the community? The girls are coming this weekend. Okay. That's why it's sort of an that's emergency That's kind of why situation. we, like, yeah. ran in here for help, because I want to get them before the, the, the pimp has time to bond with them and, yeah. and you know, herd them away. So... I don't know how to deal with that. So you know, you don't know what day, what day do you know? No, the they're coming on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday. Well, yeah. yeah, like like Friday night, Saturday morning, like like really late though. Like secret in the middle of the night. the night, like between two a.m. and five a.m. So, so that that what they they working in, in that. They're working on that, you know, arrival. So yeah. I don't know. Like, I obviously don't have to get them like. Jump in, jump in a car and like herd them away right yeah. away. But I need to get them sometime this weekend. So I don't know how to set that up. I worked in before with them. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I'm a lawyer. Oh really? Yeah, I'm a lawyer. Where did you go to school? In Mexico. Oh. Yeah, I go and long time ago. You take the California bar? Uh, no, 
I know mm-hmm. you're over there. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your cell phone number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your mo- mobile phone number. Mm-hmm. We can contact you any hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you'll contact me before the girls come over. Yeah. And let me know what your what your thoughts. Yeah. So when we, we mean, talk, what's... we're gonna we're gonna talk to the um the the person who's doing the shipment. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and you, you can get more information. That's, that's good. I need to figure out like what what things do you need um from for our phone call tomorrow. What things do you need from me in terms of like the shipment information? Like what can I help you? What information would you further need? Would help you in in advice you would give me? The location. The location. Yeah. Where whereabouts, like what type, like city, state, what, what do you need? Uh, the, the location, they, they're going to take uh, the girls. So what, what information do you need from me, the location where the girls are being shipped? Yeah. What else? And I need the, it's possible to, maybe I, like this is, let you say, private. Yes. I, uh, because we're working for, with, the, with the lawyers. Okay. With the, uh, I said uh, fiscal uh, district lawyers. What are they called? District lawyers. District attorneys. District attorneys. The prosecutors. Yeah. You're working with the prosecutors. Yeah. Well, and then that, that's not that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. Is it? You said you need the location. Now he said the location might be in um it might be over the border in Mexico. Okay. Um, is it? Uh, the border. Over over the border over in Mexico in okay. Tijuana. Okay. Okay, that's where they're going to get shipped. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm, 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 they're gonna, they're gonna cross I'm giving them some cash. Okay. So logistically, I mean, is it better if it's Tijuana? Is it better if it's, um, somewhere inland? Where, where is the best place? Um, I'm not quite, he's like all these answers he wants right away. It's better than Tijuana. Tijuana? Yeah. Why? Because I have a lot of contact with Tijuana. Okay. And they might be able to assist crossing the border? Yeah. Okay. There's like 12 of them. Is that okay? 12? 12. 12 girls. There's but 12 girls. But they're like there's like 13 to 15 years old. Yeah. 